Right, well, here we are, uh, the Online Safety Act. Um, in the bottom left, there is um, a ongoing petition to repeal it. And um, as I've been recording the videos throughout the day, um, the, you know, the uh, tick has been going up, more people have been signing. Uh, it was well below uh, 250,000. Uh, when I first started recording, so we've got about uh, 60,000 signatures uh, throughout today, uh, which is incredible for a Sunday. Um, so um, I first I first want to talk a little bit about um, this Hansard transcript, and then uh, I'm going to show you Proton. And uh, I think we'll call this one quits then because I'm trying to make short videos. Um, and then I'm going to do a bigger one on the online safety bill itself. So you might hear arguments from people that this is about protecting children. It's about uh, causing, uh, you know, people to sort of not consume pornographic content, not consume harmful content. Um, well, that's not quite what uh, uh, Baroness de Souza uh, thought when she was debating it uh, back in, I think it's 2022 or 23. Let's go back up and find out. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, come on. It's quite a lengthy scroll. Uh, does, it, does it say in there? Yeah, uh, first of. Um, February 2023. So, Baroness de Souza. There she is. Um, so, she had this to say. Uh, the Secretary of State can issue guidance and directions to Ofcom, which in turn has a crucial role in acting against a provider that is not complying with the requirements to fulfil duties under the Act, including the imposition of fines of up to £18 million and business disruption measures, whatever uh, those are, because it's not, not defined. Uh, in other words, outright censorship. So, um, if you are a person like me, who uh, values being able to speak out against uh, the government, values uh, consuming a lot of information, values... Uh, freedom of information as well, uh, not being given a narrative that you have to stick to, and also enjoys um, rigorous uh, debate, because you should be able to have uh, any view you like, although some people in this world seem to think that actually you shouldn't. Um, and also, uh, you know, being able to ask questions uh, of anything uh, without facing repercussions, uh, you need to start questioning uh, why we need this uh, Online Safety Act. Because it's not about protecting children and it's not about, uh, you know, restricting access to uh, legal yet harmful material. Uh, it's got nothing to do with protecting women. Uh, those are emotional arguments that result in uh, logical fallacies on behalf of people who are, uh, you know, maybe thinking of their own children, uh, maybe uh, want to give the government the benefit of the doubt, maybe are looking for a solution to something that they are worried about, uh, or maybe just want somebody to take responsibility away from them. You know, uh, being an adult is difficult. Being a parent is difficult. So if the government comes along and it says, I'm going to solve this for you, people are very, very quick to go, oh, amazing, the government's doing this. But the devil is in the detail. Baroness de Souza recognised this was censorship what she perhaps didn't recognise, or it's perhaps uh, not said, 
on, in this specific part is um, it also undermines encryption. So everybody's messages, regardless of whether you're innocent or you're guilty, are at risk. So is a vast swathe of other information. So with that said, if you do want to avoid, um, if you do want to avoid these uh, restrictions, um, go and look at a VPN uh, provider. Uh, Proton is a spin out of uh, CERN, the scientific um, organization. So, you know, if they can run super colliders and things like that, I'm pretty sure they can make a good VPN. Um, it's available for Windows, Mac, Android, uh, iPhone, slash iPad, Linux. It's even available as a Chrome extension and a Firefox extension. And uh, they are, have some pretty good features, actually. The 120 countries, uh, I can't find a bit where it says 120 countries, but um, I might have just gone past it. Uh, yeah, we're serving in 120 countries. So um, you can literally pretend you're in uh, an entirely different country. And uh, there's also a very cool feature where um, you can pretend you're in uh, you're browsing from one country, but what it'll do is it'll feed the, uh, his, the the connection to another country before giving it to you. So giving you two layers of uh, protection. Uh, word to the wise, this isn't a, um, a uh, bulletproof uh, method because all Five Eyes nations are working on um, online safety mechanisms, online safety legislation. Uh, so that's uh, the UK, America, Canada, New Zealand and Australia. And um, it's very likely at some stage there will be uh, legislation to either ban VPNs or restrict the use or um, make it so that providers have to um, uh, segment the traffic. So if you're using a VPN, uh, you know you get shunted to somewhere else. Uh, so that that is probably the next step, unless, um, like I say, the bottom left. Uh, you know this. I can't see the figure. The top of my head, it's uh, 310,000 now. Uh, you know, unless all those uh, uh, all those voices actually stand up and uh, against this type of legislation. So uh, go and look at uh, Proton. There are other providers, uh, but my advice would be choose a reputable one, which is why I'm uh, suggesting Proton. Um, I don't think it's that expensive, to be honest. Uh, as I say, there is a free package, um, but uh, if you are going to use another provider, uh, make sure you question what logs they keep, what traffic uh, information they keep. So, um, you know, are the the packets read? Uh, do they give the information to anybody else? Um, for how long? Do they actually, um, you know, keep information about uh, the fact that you've connected and you've requested a site, uh, you know, for porn or a site for social media or that you've streamed something? How long do they actually keep that? Um, and also just be aware of um, regulations and laws in different countries because you might be you might be doing something that's legal in the UK but actually it's not legal somewhere else um, so just be aware uh, and you know uh, interesting very interesting times I suppose in the UK um, but also also around the world it's uh, it's quite sad really 
<laughs> you know, a few years ago, uh, you w I wouldn't have thought the UK would have come to this. Uh, this is the type of action that I would have expected uh, somewhere like Hong Kong or uh, Egypt or um, North Korea or China uh, to have to take. Uh, it's very sad that actually we are having to do it here in the UK.